One of the reasons I have always said we need to have more women in power because there's something dangerous about testosterone when you don't have when you don't have the mental capacity to control testosterone testosterone can be a poison it can be a, a, something that makes you mad if you don't uh, you know right now as it turns out that is what has happened to putin he's testosterone induced close cycled madness and you want biden to exhibit that behavior as well some of the reporters seem like they're mad I want you to listen to this one here and it is so important because I love the way Jen Psaki handled it because these reporters who've never served the time in office who have never really gone and had any any anything other than some elitist education think they know what is best for us all in this case I've got to say thank you for saner minds because the one thing we have to be in this time is very, very careful. So what I want you to do is listen to this tape, then we'll take it on the other side. You guys have said you close the door on supplying combat aircraft to Ukraine right now, the transfer of MiGs. We heard from the Pentagon, your colleague there, John Kirby, mm -hmm. said it was high risk. Mitt Romney today said there was a sentiment that we're fearful about what Putin might do and what he might consider an escalation. It's time for him to be fearful of what we might do. Why is it not a risk, a higher risk, to wait? To wait to what? To, we're not supplying, to, to not act in providing MiGs to the Ukrainian country. We said that's a high risk. Why is that a higher risk than not providing them? We're already witnessing civilians die as we speak. Well, I would say what our assessment is based on is how to prevent a world war here, Peter, which is a significant um, weight that the intelligence community, the uh, d Defense Department, and the President of the United States weighs at every moment in time. And they weigh, and I would note that um, that there was also, I thought, a very interesting comment that was made that is important, I think, for people to understand how we look at this, which is that there's an escalation ladder, right? And there's a difference between an anti-tank weapon, a shoulder-fired missile, an aircraft, and a fighter jet that could cross a border and actually conduct operations on Russian soil. So how we assess things is how what kind of assistance can we provide that will be the most impactful if humanly uh, most most impactful in protecting, defending, providing assistance to the Ukrainian people as they are fighting courageously and boldly. We are also t trying to prevent ourselves from taking steps that would be further escalatory. I don't think we have held back in any capacity in providing assistance, having the backs of the Ukrainians, but we are not going to do things that we think are in, not in the interest of the United States or our NATO allies, and that is where the bar is for us. And you know, that is not too difficult to understand, right? That is measured, that is using your mind, that is saying we are going to do absolutely nothing that Putin can use to bring uh, create a bigger war. That's responsible. You, people say, oh, but look, there are kids, there are children that are dying in Ukraine. And that is true. There are women and men th that are dying in Ukraine. Russia is doing all these things. How many people are going to die if we allow this guy an excuse to escalate? Quite a bit more, right? Responsibility is not easy. This testosterone kind of, I mean, and I only gave you a piece of what that particular silly reporter was talking about. But there was a time that he actually got pretty rough with, uh, with, with Jen Psaki. And you know Jen. Jen is uh, the ultimate... In, dipl in diplomatic as she sliced you to smithereens. She's, she's cutting you by a million slices and you don't even know it. Well, the reporters, that is. And that is, that is all she had to do as he was sort of getting all perturbed. She looked at him and he, she said, no, this is what we are doing. And she explained what we are doing, which made a hell of a lot of sense more than these testosterone-driven uh, reporters, testosterone-driven uh, Mr. Romney saying, it is time, uh, we are acting like we're scared of Putin, it's time to let Putin be scared of us. That sounds good. But Putin isn't about being scared. Putin is doing anything to stay alive. He wants to, 
right now he has put his country in dire straits and there's a good possibility that there will be a coup in the Soviet in, 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 in Russia there is a good possibility there's a coup why not allow it to happen why give him an excuse to say NATO is the reason we are here the reason that you are feeling the pain in Russia is not because of all those companies leaving because I did something meaning Putin but because of NATO you see what they're doing and by the way you know we gave him an excuse by growing NATO all the way to to his land right I mean I, but I, look I'm not giving him a, an out at all right but hey you know <laughs> if we had when Russia came to Cuba which was 90 miles away we said uh-uh you ain't gonna do that and then we went ahead and passed a policy that says nobody he can't come anywhere in the Americas and so all when he goes to Venezuela we're like be careful when you're trying to go there to Venezuela we're not gonna allow that so let's be clear and not allow those of the, the unread they, well they're not unread they should know better they should know better than to try to have some sort of testosteronic reaction to Putin instead of a sensible reaction uh, Biden, no matter what you think about him, as all the experts who understand this will tell you, the measured approach he's taken thus far has really prevented a catastrophe that Putin needs. Remember, Putin needs us to overreact right now. Putin needs to see on the world stage something that gives him the ability to tell his people look at what they've done that's why he's trying to create some other factors right now oh they're building poison gas they're building weapons of mass destruction in ukraine he needs people to start believing that because he is in trouble and when a leader like putin is in trouble it starts to be uh-uh the overthrow is about to happen gorbachev didn't do any of this and he got his butt whipped. Let's not forget that. History is an interesting thing. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.